my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright, so let's go into Photoshop and then Ctrl N. The new document will pop up for us to put in the dimensions that we want. Change here to pixels. If you've been watching my channel and my videos, you realize I like to use 1500 a lot. Now use 72 over here. Leave it at pixels per inch. RGB over here as well. But I'll leave it at color white. You could, you could pick it from here as well. Pick the color you want. Let's name it church. Flyer. And then you click on create. Now let's start with our background. So the first background I'm going to use is this one. You drag it in there and then you resize it. Resize it to uh, the way you want it to be. I think let's push it in a little bit. Perhaps some more here is good. And then let's bring let's see this. Let's put this one in there as well. And then um, let's choose play. Let's use control. Uh, sorry, <laughs> rotate 90 degree counterclockwise. Ah, uh, what is wrong with me today? All right. So I think this is good. This is this is quite good. But it could increase it a little bit if you want to. Depending on how how you want it to be. Okay, so now let's set this one to soft light. Change it. Let's change it. Let's see. Overlay. It's not what I was looking for. Let's use screen. Oh, screen is good. Let's use screen. We also want it. We don't want it to overlap with the other image. So let's pull it here a little bit. So this is great. Now let's duplicate it. And then this time, let's set it to soft light overlay in this. No. Um, let's do soft light in this. Soft light is good. So let's give it a mask. Choose your brush. Make sure um, this is the soft brush you are using. Change the color over here to black. And then make sure caps lock is also off. Increase the size a little bit. The opacity should be set to 100% and the flow 100% as well. You want to clean around it so that it blends nicely. It blends nicely. Also clean, clean the environment a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so still let's clean this side. Let's pick both image images. And then let's enlarge it and drag it down a little bit. Um, let's pick the last image. Um, let's pick this one. Now this is to hide beneath the other ones. We just want the white areas to be to be occupied. Don't want it to be white. Let's give it a mask and then let's clean this. I pray this video doesn't become too long. Alright, so just drag it, drag it up like that. Now go down to the in it, image be, uh, beneath it, the original one that we started with. Drag it up and then increase it like that. Give it a mask as well, and let's clean everything here I want you to get to the point okay so we see we don't want this point to show so bring it back to white this is the point we are trying to mask so that's it that's it we've just we successfully maxed it also this side will cause a little problem let's see how we can fix that one as well stay with this particular layer selected just clean it clean it 
now let's see go to the second one i want the hands to show i don't want anything to block that particular view so this we are done with our background let's call this some background i think graphic design is very interesting and then we can start with uh let's open it we can start with some new let's use curves and then uh, with curves i'd like to just pull this one here slightly and i'll pull this one here as well slide this way the dark side becomes very darkened and then the bright side also brightens up a little bit and then i also go for exposure exposure i would, I would pull this one uh down a little bit somewhere here minus 8.9 and then i'll leave the offset like that but then the gamma correction i think i'll pull it up i'll pull it up around 0 0.50 0 0.50 will we'll be good so we'll leave it like this it looks too dark and i don't know we'll come back to work on it so let, let's deal with the team now um let's click on your text tool and then pick understanding paste it there let's change the color to color white and then just so we can see it let's make the font 80 the font size 80 now we can see it clearly let's change the font itself to Marriott Pro I'm going to leave a link to all of them in the description for you all right so I'm going to select Marriott Pro go down a little bit and then it's my so Marriott Pro this is it and then um, let's set here to 8 as we did it's regular also make sure this is selected we're going to use color white We've done that already now let's center it pull it down here a little bit we might end up working on it even more duplicate it and bring it down let's pick the rest of the details let's pick the prophetic let's paste it there we are going to use um a particular font I haven't used in quite some time now it's morganite morganite it has the feel of steel fish but then it's it's quite good it's quite good also bring some kind of beauty out of it let's choose black this is it and then let's set the font to 272 also make sure this is thick and here is color white let's center it Let's zoom in a little bit. Now this is what separates the amateurs from the professional graphic designers. The spacing. They know how to deal with the spacing. If it's like this, it's not going to look cool. Make sure it's quite close. Not too close, but quite closer. This is perfect. This is perfect. Double click understanding. Let's go to stroke. Set the size to um, 1, choose here, put it at outside, normal, 100%, color black, awesome. Click, right click there and then copy layer style. Click on the prophetic and then paste layer style. What will happen is that the same layer style is going to be applied on the prophetic. We also want a stroke on it as well. Now, duplicate it and drag it down as well same and then paste the details over there all right now let's set a size to 211 and then let's set the color to awesome duplicate it let's type a and d end but this time let's use franklin gothic demi let's set a size to 74 and then also make sure um, this is tech and then it's regular 
Ctrl T to transform it and then right click and then um, rotate it counterclockwise. Now I want to pull it somewhere here. Make sure it's, it's between it. Bring the lines or the rules or the grid and see whether it's in the middle of everything. Now this is what we are looking for. It's in the middle of everything. This is awesome. Let's put everything in a folder and let's name it. theme the next thing we are going to work on has to do with the with the time or the date let's set the theme up a little bit so you type over here and let's pick the rest of the details let's pick this let's paste it there let's choose color white And then um, let's set it to Myriad Pro. Also make sure it is regular. Let's set the font to 72. 42, sorry. 42. Make sure this is also ticked. And then um, let's do something else. Let's let's select this online service. And let's pick this yellow color. Now maybe one day I'm going to I'm going to show you how to make your text look good, uh, the secret behind it. Chances are you could do the same thing I'm doing right now, and then yours will not be better as mine. It is all because of the secret of using your topography or your fonts or your typeface or, or I mean typing, your words, the way you you place it and the way you deal with it. It's not going to make it look nice. There's a secret behind it. A graphic design has principles and maybe one day I'll, I'll take you through them let's choose 6 30 p.m and then let's also choose the same as well if you want me to show you how to make your text look good kindly comment below and then i'll create a video that will address that particular topic for you all uh, right Let's pick connect, duplicate this one, bring it down, and then paste it. Now, this time, we are going to use Marriott Pro as well. We are going to use Condense, and then we are going to set the font to 35. We are also going to make sure this color white. And then we're going to take this one off to make it small letters. Again, these are all secret, our principles of a graphic design that I am obeying right now. It looks like I'm just typing something, but the principles I'm using right now. But but with that said, let me see that. Make sure all your text are not one color, so you can see all my text are not one color. I will encourage you not to use one text or one font throughout now with this one you're going to use railway all right we're going to use semi bold we want it to be a little bit bolder carry more weight let's set the font to 20 and then let's make it color black but before we do that let's pick a rectangular tool and then create a rectangle here all right let's zoom in now let's pull this up click on your rectangle double click on it actually and then pick this yellow color and then click on your text and let's change the color to color black I know some of you are watching this video you guys are very good you guys are very good because sometimes um, I receive certain pictures from you guys and I'm like whoa this guy this guy is really really speeding up you know so um, guys keep on studying keep on learning um, the sky is the limit so with this one as well make sure you keep it in the middle of the rectangle the exact space over here should be the exact space over here or at least should seem like that to the eye these are little little nuances but then they make much sense in the overall 
um, design so please do not um, neglect this also keep it in the middle keep it aligned the next thing is that let me zoom out a little bit you realize that this is one category or one group this is one group and, th and this is also one group okay so with this group or with a theme group I left some space and then I brought this as well <laughs> let's name it date and time and let's name this under all right now after the theme the date came and then the handle came three different groups the space between the theme here and the space between the date here should be the same if you miss it your design is not going to look quite good so every design you do these are some of the little things that you should pay closer attention to if you don't do that you break some of the rules of the graphic design principles and then uh, it begins to look distorted okay now i can see that it's too much i don't want too much space there just a little space and so the handle to i don't want too much space there just a little space so just a little space now drag the whole thing down oh so, so now let's let's go for our images start with this drag it in there and then just resize it now i like to keep the head on the same line of the understanding and so let's see oh no <laughs> Alright, so the same line of understanding. I like to keep the head over there. So this is what I'm looking for. And then I'll go for curves. I'll push this one a little bit down. Then go to red and then pull it down as well. A little bit, just a little bit. Go to green, pull it down a little bit. And then go to blue and then push it up a little bit. And then make sure it is clipped to that particular image just that particular image all right and then we could um pick a different image let's pick this particular one drag it in there as well resize it remember we also want to keep the head on the same line so hold shift and then let's see how it's going to look like but there's some white um strokes around the image i don't like it let's put this one up let's flip it a little bit. okay so this is the image we are working on now there are some white strokes around the image i don't really like it if you watch my other videos i have been showing you how i've been doing it so i'm pretty sure you are very familiar with it you go to select and then you go to select and mask and then you keep the feathers at 19 you keep you keep the smooth at 19 you keep the radius at 3 you keep the feathers don't even touch it the contrast set it to 29 or 30 shift the edge to minus 59 and then um, with that done just click on new layer with layer mask and then okay normally does the trick so now you can delete the image beneath it and then let's use this particular one so this looks good let's pick our curves clip the curve to it and then just move this side down let's see let's still move it down a little bit I think this one fits it perfectly yeah fits it perfectly let's pick 
Kala Balanç. Pull it some way. Yeah. Also clip it to it. Now play with it until you get a little tint of color like this. Just a little tint of color. The highlight. Okay. My goof one more thing and that is the vibrance. Pick the vibrance. I like to reduce the saturation just a little bit. Okay. Now make sure with the vibrance you also clip it to it also to affect the text as well. We don't want it to affect the text. Put everything in a folder and let's name it images. Alright. So there you have it. There you have it. Let's bring our logo. Let's put this one in the we'll work on we'll work on it later on. But let's pick our text. Set K bunny. Or set Kiku bunny. Paste it there. Change the color to color white. And then let's use Cambria. Make it bold. Set it to 27. And then duplicate it. Let's pick the rest of the details. Okay. Let's also leave it at Cambria as well. Let's keep it bold as well. But the size, let's change the size to 1. That's small. And then let's make the tracking 65. And then let's leave it at um, white as well. Let's push it up. Awesome. Now let's resize the logo image. And then pull it up a little bit. Keep it in the middle of the text. And this is good. Let's name it logo. And then perhaps we could drag it somewhere here. Oh boy. <laughs> You know why this happens is because of auto select and so you see anything i click it just goes like that so we don't want it that way make sure auto select is untick auto select is untick and then drag the whole thing all right okay we are almost done go back to exposure Right click here and choose elliptical mark it to and then just draw just draw a circle like that. Control T, make sure the elliptical tool is still selected. Control T, then zoom out to see the details. And then just bring it down like that. Pull it down like that. Okay. And this is how you want it. Right click it and click on select inverse. And then pick your brush tool and then just clean here. 
make sure this side is selected that's what we want to clean awesome so this is what we have now without and this is how it looks this is how it looks now now let's give it and drag it up there somewhere here click on your brush to select color white and then make sure you choose the soft brush 100% 100% and then somewhere here just click there so all of a sudden it brings some glow into the image bring some glow into the image this is what we are looking for the next thing is let's pick our lens blur drag it in the just like that and then set it to screen now resize it and drag it somewhere here let's go to curves let's drag it down drag it down yeah let's drag it down so so guys there is it and then you put it in the folder you name it glow and then let's go to gradient map choose here and then choose black now somewhere here you can just click here and then let's choose this particular color click on ok and then here let's choose this color all right click on ok click on ok and this is what we have let's set it to overlay <laughs> and then let's set the opacity to 45 and this is what we have you also want to go to the the images oh, uh, this is the images go there a little bit and drag it down drag it down tremendously because you want it to blend with the background click on the other ones as well also blend it don't, don't do it too much just a little bit okay all right so this is what we have now guys i love you all please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already like this video also hit the notification bell so that anytime i upload new videos you won't miss out on any of them you'll be one of the first people to receive them i also like you to comment down below let me know what you are thinking let me know some of the things that you want me to create or some of the suggestions that you have if there's anything bothering you, kindly feel free to comment. I love you all guys. Peace out.